Okay, so it's for front. And the back, we also release the ease and the dot as well. So we need to draw the dot first. And uh, Lola's original bottom armhole, one inch, and the leaf about the T line toward the one inch toward the center back marker point. Connect this point to the dot point close to the neckline. And measure three inch from the dot leg. Mark it as the shoulder dot point. Connect this point to another point of the dot. Okay, so we got the shoulder dot. We pin the dot together. Crease the dot leg close to the neckline match to the another leg and pin them together pin the dot together then we could draw the chewing the neckline draw the shoulder line Exactly like in the basic bodies. Draw a small line perpendicular to the center back. Then use French curve to chew in the neckline. Also S shape of the shoulder line, S shape. Then draw the armhole. Draw the armhole. The armhole reach the bottom of armhole, shoulder breadth level point, and the shoulder point. Okay. And connect the bottom of armhole and the side seam at the hip level. Connect them together. Draw a straight line from the hip level side point. Okay, we give more ease at the side seam. One inch lower from the original bottom arm hole, half inch beyond the original side seam. So we, we got the loser side seam. Then draw the loser armhole. Connect the new side seam. Blend the original one at the hip level line. Okay. Give two inch for hand. Okay. 
if one inch for seam loss at the side C. Give half inch for seam loss at the side C. Give half inch for seam loss at the arm hole. One inch for seam loss at the shoulder. Half inch seam loss at the neckline. The same at the front. One inch seam loss at the side seam. Half inch seam loss at the armhole. One inch at the shoulder line. Half inch seam loss at the at the neckline. Then we trim off the axis fabric. Okay, after we trim off the axis fabric, we could pin the front and back together at the side seam and the shoulder line. Fold the seam rounds of the back side seam. Fold the side seam back on the front. Okay. Then pin the shoulder together. Okay, after we pin the front and back together, we need to put the shift back to the dress form to check the balance and the proportion is again. So we can notice that, okay, the grain of the muslin is correct. The whole body is hand straight down, hand straight. And the crosswise is perfectly level to the floor. The side seam aligned to the side seam of the form. That means the side seam is straight down, okay? So everything is, looks good. So we could discuss some change on the basis on this shift. So fix the line center front and then center back at the form. Fix the, the center back at the hip level. Okay. Okay. Fix the chest at the center front. And also with the bed to fix the apex point. Okay, so maybe you want a fitted shift. Someone may like fitted at the waist. So you could sit dot at the waist. Okay. 
you could have one dart at the west. Also, you could have two dart, two dots at the west. Okay, the same. You also could have two dots. Okay, we could have one dots at the west. Yeah, correspond to the front. We also could have two dots at the back. Okay. You also could give some dot at the side seam, so the through edge could looks much better, slimmer, right? Okay. Okay. Much fit, much fit to the bodies. Okay, so it came to a shelf fitted at the west. Of course, someone may be like uh, A shape. So as you draw the side seam, you could give flare at the side bottom of the side seam. So you could get an A shape shift. So you could based on this straight shift to change it to different shape. It's up to your design. <laughs> 